Hey everyone and welcome back to some more esports talk. We recently had yet another information leak with Warzone, but this time it wasn't a massive deal and we're not really sure of the legitimacy yet. The leak by Zesty said Vanguard integration is coming on December 7th, 2021 with a screenshot of some code, which highlighted you can see says Vanguard is coming chapter three coming December 7th. When dates like this are released, I feel like I can only think about two things. One, the fact that most likely a lot of these accusations are finally going to end while on the other side is my hopes and dreams potentially being crushed on that specific day when the anti-cheat just gets cracked yet again we've already seen a lot of issues with it being leaked in the source code for the kernel driver being leaked and so we're not really sure how the integration into warzone actually will work but like i said with having this hard date you start to think about well maybe there is a light at the end of the tunnel for all of these accusation videos that we constantly see i mean i don't even have to tell you what people make these videos because you can see every single day every few hours they're making the same video over over and over again accusing different streamers of hacking well on december 7th hopefully we will finally learn if this is true or not the name i was just about to say he is that team's cheater when him and dot play you, or yes oh, Doc, he gets destroyed fight? destroy has what i have exactly z laner has different different shit he has a chronos hooked up to a foot pedal but he's also got walls with it he's got a separate developer with certain, uh, so Blizzard detects these cheats by using tracer files. A lot of people use the same tracer files per, for the development of the cheat, so it's easy to yeah. detect. My system, you get, uh, there's perks. There, there, there's huge perks. We have the source code of this game. There's nothing Blizzard could do with the cheats I use. Absolutely nothing. Vanguard, I'm already in the beta playing. This new Ricochet shit, oh, wait. it's nothing. It's it's a joke. Uh, then we're gonna lag it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, do you actually believe that streamers cheat? Be honest with me. Yeah, I do. Who? Like, who cheats of, like, the streamers that you watch or no? I mean, come on. You you can't tell me no Red Cole fucking Huskers cheat. <laughs> no Red Cole Swags cheats. I mean, you, you, you can't tell me they don't. I can get listen to me, listen to me. I can guarantee you they don't. I can guarantee Damn. you they don't. Okay. Okay. So whether Joe is talking to a hacker that believes that no recoil huskers and no recoil swag are using cheats, or if it's people on TikTok calling out destroy and Z Laner. Well, hopefully we will have a remedy for that. What we do know happens on December 7th is the end of season six. So part of me feels as if maybe that somehow relates to this leak and that that date is somehow relating to it i'm not sure if it actually is the anti-cheat going into effect in warzone we later saw a clarification from zesty where cod tracker had said that rumors suggesting the warzone integration with vanguard on december 7th are false i guess this date couldn't be for integration maybe the start of season one or the release of warzone pacific chapter three is a very broad statement i shouldn't have assumed so i apologize so it seems a bit up in the air what this december 7th date actually will be like he said we have seen the map tease for the new warzone map so could this potentially be just the introduction of a new season of the game or what could be happening so i am pleased to announce that there's a brand new warzone map coming this year shortly after the launch of vanguard and we are going to the pacific featuring an entirely new play space complete with all new points of interest players will get to traverse the lush landscapes of the island and make their way through a variety of extremely cool locations while battling it out alongside friends and foes. Our goal was to create a fresh, new experience for Call of Duty players by breaking out. So we'll just have to see. Hopefully this date is actually going to have something big happen and we're not just pushing off this release of the anti-cheat in Warzone longer and longer because it just makes all of us a little bit more anxious and tense, I feel like, because we just want to know if it's going to work. And at this point, but a lot of us are losing hope. So until next time, guys, let me know what you think, and I'll catch you later.